Hi engineering janta I am Vaibhav Shukla and today we'll be understanding the types of linked list so let's dive in deep and let's understand what exactly are types of linked list so these are the types of linked list that we'll cover today singly linked list doubly linked list circular linked list and circular doubly linked list so by far the linked list that you have studied which is like this which looks like this fine this type of linked list is called a singly linked list now why this is called a singly singly linked list because there is no backward link that exists and remember in the limitations we studied one of the limitation was that there is always forward traversing you cannot go back and access any element for that you have to again traverse fine so that is one issue with it now if not this if not this particular type of linked list then what for that there is another linked list called as doubly linked list fine and in this you generally have two pointers in a node so basically here you have a value here you have next pointer fine and here you have previous pointer fine generally this is how a node of doubly linked list looks like now when you're trying with a doubly linked list so initially you might have a head fine a head pointer which is pointing to a linked list node fine previous pointer value next pointer so now this previous pointer actually contains the pointer to head fine this next pointer will go point to the next node isn't it it starts pointing to the next node in this case you have previous pointer here so this previous pointer points back to this node fine you have value then you have next pointer fine now this next pointer is pointing to some other node some other different node fine so here you have next pointer fine so this is pointing to the node value and you have previous pointer now this previous pointer is actually pointing to this particular node fine in this case every time you'll have a backwards tracking you can go ahead backwards now if i go further you might have a node where next pointer is null you have a value and apart from this value you have a previous pointer which points to this particular node fine in this case this is the last node of this doubly linked list but what is the benefit now if i'm standing at this particular node and i want to reach back to this node i can straight away go from the previous pointer and reach this fine i can easily reach this node however this is not possible in the singly linked lists because i do not have a back tracking option i cannot go back fine that is not an option available in a singly linked list fine in a doubly linked list you have that option generally fine apart from this we often have lists where i will i will show you one more version of lists which is circular linked lists now if you take a single linked list like this where head is pointing to this particular node and you have a value you have a pointer which points to next node and you have again a value and a pointer which again points to next node you again have a value again have a pointer which further points to a next node and in this case you have a value and you do not have null here in this particular area of memory you do not have null यहां पर हम नल स्टोर नहीं करते नाउ वट डू वी स्टोर हेयर देन वेरी सिंपल इन दिस पर्टिकुलर पोर्शन यू एक्चुअली गिव अ पॉइंटर विच पॉइंट बैक टू द फर्स्ट नोड 
fine sometimes it is to the first node some people prefer it pointing to the head both ways it is considered as a circular linked list however the traditional circular linked list is followed in a manner where pointer points back to the first node fine so this circular fashion this goes in this circular fashion fine so you can again start fine however backtracking is also not available here you cannot backtrack but what you can do is from the last node you can come back to the first node that is possible here but backtracking is not possible fine so this is circular linked list fine the advantage that it offers is you can go back from the last node to the first node fine that is why it is circular in nature now this is very helpful in round robin scheduling fine so we'll come to it even doubly linked list is also very helpful there but let's check the last type of it and the last type is doubly circular linked list so now you can easily guess what it means very very easy now fine so i'm drawing a few nodes and these are the few nodes this is previous pointer i should mark a head node as well a head pointer fine so value next pointer previous pointer value next pointer and then you have a previous pointer here again pointing here and then you have a value then you have a next pointer which points here you go back here with previous pointer and then you have a value now this is a doubly linked list you can clearly see it fine but in this this pointer the final pointer where you used to write null now is pointing back here again fine now if you want to make it point to head good enough it's your wish otherwise you can straight away come to the first node that is also one way of implementing doubly circular linked list so this is doubly circular linked lists fine so this is the doubly circular linked list why am i acquainting you with this this can be a very very basic video for you you might consider that that this is this is very very basic that you made me study but let me tell you one thing if you have correctly studied the particular portion of limitations there one limitation was backtracking was not available in this backtracking is correctly available fine complete linked list is backward traversed fine it can be backward traversed so it gives you that option number 1 alongside that in few of them fine in few of them when i execute scheduling specifically when we execute os scheduling we execute process scheduling in os if you have studied os you might be understanding what i'm saying if you have not then you'll study os in your further semesters so when in operating systems you try to schedule processes there you need round robin algorithm and in that algorithm linked lists which are doubly linked lists are very very helpful circular linked lists are even more helpful because you need a regular round robin format of processes being scheduled you need processes coming and going again and again so for that they can be very very helpful and that is the reason i always say that linked lists whenever studied people often skip the types of linked list that is very very important that you stick you understand what kind of types are existing and this is a very basic class but when i'll implement them at that point of time these visualizations will help you in upcoming videos when we'll implement doubly linked list when we'll implement circular linked list you will you would visualize all the things being done there fine your code piece would automatically visualize for you fine so that would help you out apart from this whatever good you learnt in this video whatever you felt was was really worth watching go ahead spread it to the masses share it with the people who need it and 
do follow us on all the social media handles so that you never miss any hiring update from our side and on various social media handles you might find some interesting stuff but for free resources you should join my community because that will help you out there alongside that subscribe to this channel for more interesting videos and top three comments can get prep insta prime subscription for free so do try your luck comment below this video whatever doubt you faced and stay tuned for the next video because after this very good and serious implementations of linked lists would begin thank you